Okay, crypto's crashed. Take a deep breath, everybody, and calm down. Look, I want to go through what's going to happen in the market over the next few weeks and months. And look, we've been calling for Q3 crash. Uh, we talked about Fed pivot, uh, Q3. I think this is still likely to happen in September. Uh, Fed pivot crash in crypto and stocks. Q3 was the quarter we've been picking out for this. And look, we've seen a pretty sizable pullback for, you know, Bitcoin, Cardano, ADA, uh, and so on. Look, the Bitcoin fear and greed index, um, have you seen it? Uh, it's plummeting faster than a rogue shopping cart down a mountain right now. It's the lowest it's been uh, for Bitcoin, BTC, uh, since it was, what, like 17,000 bucks or something along those lines. Is this the crypto apocalypse? Are we all gonna be living in a cave and, um, you know, have nothing in our pockets whatsoever. I guess that is the question that a lot of people new into crypto uh, are asking right now. But hey, um, that's why we're here, right? We're here to figure out what's actually going on with Cardano, ADA, Bitcoin, BTC, the fear and greed index, and whether you should be stockpiling uh, crypto or not, right? And, you know, perhaps even looking to see whether you need to be holding on for dear life, right? Let's dive in, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. I'm going to delve into this now. I really do want to start here. Crypto crash pushes fear and greed index to the lowest since Bitcoin BTC traded at $17,000 in early 2023. The widely followed sentiment metric hit extreme greed levels earlier in March near the local top of the crypto market, but now it's pushing its limit in the opposite direction, and we're seeing it in the fear sector. Um, and a lot of this is really down to seized BTC or Bitcoin. Bitcoin sales from the German and US governments. Now, I do want to talk about this because I highlighted this as a big risk to this bull market. And look, it's come to fruition like every other prediction bar one, which is Fed Pivot Q3, September 2024. So look, you need to subscribe. You need to give us a follow. You need to join us in the free Discord and you know make sure that you're, you're kept informed, right? Because there's so many influencers telling you you should have been buying at 70K, right? Last chance to buy and all that nonsense. Um, but look, there's immense selling pressure from Mt. Gox as they refund users multi-billion dollar, you know, amounts of money here, right? This is what we need to be aware of. Now, I want to talk about Cardano. Cardano is dead, according to BitBoy. Charles Hoskinson brutally criticizes BitBoy Crypto, which is Ben Armstrong. I obviously mentioned this in a previous video, um, but look, he, he said, I remember when the point of cryptocurrency was to replace institutions instead of acting out a scene from, uh, you know, there we go. Uh, you can see it on the screen anyway. Uh, I guess we got to learn the band Joe uh, to make Ben happy. And look, I, I think that this is really, really interesting, right? I think that, you know, Charles has kind of got a point. But look, I want to delve into this a little bit more, which is why I'm bringing it up in today's video, right? I want to have a look at some of the comments. You know, uh, this is what Ben Armstrong has opted to say. It's his opinion. And, you know, he's entitled to an opinion just because it's, you know, his opinion doesn't mean that it's right. And I, I want to talk about this. Like, I, I always kind of say, you know, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, right? And uh, look, it doesn't make these people right and when you get to these levels of fear in the market where you get these big pullbacks in a bull run and we see this time and time again after every bitcoin halving people you know get scared they sell out and they 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 walk away and then you see the the monstrous move to the upside and i still think that this is happening right i still expect a monstrous size bull run this is a buying opportunity we've been talking about for some time 
you know, patience is the key when it comes to investing in cryptocurrency. So recently I said DOT and ADA are both dead to institutions, which ultimately will lead to their death as legitimate investments. This doesn't mean that they won't pump or offer uh, returns to investors this bull run. They will returns will be uh, mid. So look, that's his opinion. Um, we've got uh, a response here. This is just your opinion, though, which I doubt has any merit now. Uh, I don't see you presenting any technical facts as to why you think this. What's crazy is your opinion that institutions do not care about 6.9 years of uptime. Again, just an indication that we are expecting a number of years of uh, price appreciation. Then we've got, I remember when uh, the point of crypto, I kind of covered that already. But look, um, you only seem to see these opinions from you know these types of individuals when the market is pulling back, right? Um, yeah, it's questionable the timing of these uh, comments and so on. But look, I think there are many reasons why uh, Cardano is going to do really, really well. And uh, I mentioned another one in the previous video: Swiss government-owned bank list, uh, sorry, lists Cardano, ADA. So again, look, you know, government-backed, you know banks, entities, they are listing and, you know, I guess, utilizing um, opportunities with Cardano ADA. I think that's probably the best way to, to articulate it. But not only that, right, I think something we are going to start to see more of uh, is a consolidation of the market. And I do think that Cardano are going to be one of the altcoin layer ones that lead the way with this. Now, we've seen the only form of consolidation we've seen is through AI, right? With uh, Singularity Net, uh, Fetch AI, and Ocean Protocol. Uh, they're consolidating into ASI, uh, and that is the first, um, I say first, it isn't the first. There are others that have done consolidation work in the past, but I think this is really the, the first and the beginning of consolidation of altcoins in the crypto space. Everybody knows there are far too many altcoins, but where them, you know, I think the, the opinions of influencers and others in the space are wrong is that they think that, you know, these altcoins are going to die and, you know, that's going to be the end of them. And I think that's fundamentally wrong. I think what we're actually going to see is a consolidation of multiple layer ones, multiple layer twos, you know, with different styles of tech, different exposure to different sectors combining and joining forces and i think that you know what we're seeing with singularity net fetch ai and ocean protocol is the beginning of a consolidation phase for layer ones layer twos and other you know maybe oracles as well right i think you know if any oracle project wants to compete with Chainlink, they're going to have to work together and look i think we're going to see more and more of this mark my words right my predictions are flawless so far in the last 24 months and i expect this to be no different we're going to see more and more of this and we already are seeing cardano join forces uh, ibc amp up sidechain connectivity and again we're going to be seeing more and more of this more bridges with the likes of cardano and polka dot and so on so you know, just be mindful you know the opinions of people that you're watching because they're just like ourselves it doesn't necessarily mean anything everybody's got an opinion it doesn't make it right and uh look uh the total market cap of crypto globally is up 4.99% after the big crash at $2.08 trillion. I do think this market cap is going to go to at least $10 trillion this market uh, cycle, right? This bull market. So look, um, this is just a phase. It's just a pullback. I want to kind of put people's minds at ease, uh, in my mind at least. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. Treat this purely as entertainment purposes only. But knowing I've been flawless with my predictions. But, you know, uh, I'm a guy that likes probability. So there's a high probability that some of my predictions in the future aren't going to be, um, you know, flawless like they are at the moment, right? I'm expecting to get some stuff wrong. But with that said, I expect to get more right than I get wrong. And in doing so means that we, you know, as a, as a collective group, we're going to perform well, right? It's how, kind of how I see it anyway. You can let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Bitcoin at 56,521.87. It's up uh, four point. 2.8% in the past 24 hours, but down 7.12% in the last seven days. So there we have it, right? Again, great opportunities to purchase the dip. 
And look, I want to talk about India-based uh, crypto exchanges. Another prediction that I've had recently is that we should be expecting some struggles when it comes to crypto exchanges. Don't keep your crypto on exchanges. I will say it again. Um, I'm expecting perhaps even a consolidation of crypto exchanges that we start to see over the coming months. We see this here with Indian-based crypto exchange. Coin DCX acquires um, Dubai's Bit Oasis. I think we're going to see more of this. And then the final piece of uh, news that I want to talk about is, um, you know, UAE uh, companies um, in, and tokenization services. Uh, this is expanding. We're seeing more of this. You know, real world assets is something Nick and myself have been talking about since 2020. Again, just like we were predicting AI, we were predicting real world assets. It's going to be huge. It's going to be just like that boom when it comes with, uh, you know, what we've seen with AI. And again, I don't think the AI narrative is done. We are just starting out. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of the news that I've covered in today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. It really does support the channel, helps push out the content to like-minded individuals and i really do appreciate it i will catch you in the next one take care